Alright guys and girls, so today's video follows on from the killer's guide I've done recently and explains the top 10 packs to use as killer in Dead by Daylight, so stay tuned. Okay, after releasing the video, I realised that even though I mentioned killers and perks, I didn't intentionally go into too much details about the perks and thought I would make this video to give you an idea of not only the best perks to pick, but also the reasons why. If you are new to killer or you're new to Dead by Daylight, then this guide will give you all the information you need to help you make an informed choice of the perks you need to use and also how to get them unlocked in the game. So without further ado, let's look at the top 10 perks for killers in DVD. At number 10, we've got Save the Best for Last. Save the Best for Last is a teachable Michael Myers perk and it could be unlocked at level 30 onwards. This perk is an obsession perk that provides you with a token for each successful hit on all survivors who are not the obsession. Each token grants a 5% stackable cooldown reduction on successful attacks. You can get up to 8 tokens which means you'll have a 40% cooldown reduction which makes it a lethal perk on most killers. If you do attack your obsession you will lose 4, 3 or 2 tokens depending on what level you have the perk at. So avoid your obsession if possible and be aware once your obsession is dead you will not accrue any more tokens. With this perk you have to be disciplined because if you watch out for the obsession then it will work well. But if you just can't help yourself and you like to go stabby stabby on anything that crosses your path then this perk might not be quite as useful. It makes it to number 10 on the list on the basis that it will help you massively in ending chases early with the ability to recover really fast taking no survivors by surprise. In at number 9 we've got Monitoring Abuse, so Monitoring Abuse is a teachable doctor perk and can be unlocked from level 35 onwards. What does Monitoring Abuse do? So whilst you're in a chase your terror radius is increased by 8 metres, sound ok? Well the best part of this perk is that if you're not involved in the chase it actually reduces your terror radius by 8 metres and also increases your field of view by 3, 5 or 10 degrees. How does this help, I hear you say it? Well, if you are wanting to catch survivors by surprise, then monitoring abuse is a nice perk to have. You add it to your killer that already has a low terror radius, then you'll be giving your survivors less time to escape and hide when you are approaching them. This is again a nice perk to add to try not only end chases quick, but to help you find those urban evading survivors. So for this reason, I like monitoring abuse and would put it in at number 9. Alright, so number 8 is a new addition to the perk list from chapter 17. Yes, it's Hex Undying and it, this is a teachable blight perk unlocked from level 40 onwards. Whilst Hex Undying is active, survivors within 2 metres of this totem will have their auras revealed for 4, 5 or 6 seconds. But wait, there is more to this. When another Hex totem is cleansed, that Hex transfers to an available dull totem. This can go on whilst there are dull totems available, but survivors might get lucky and cleanse Hex Undying, removing the ability to move your Hex to a dull totem. This perk makes it the top 10 due to the fact that if you double this up with another Hex perk then it can make the powers last so much longer because even if they do cleanse Hex Undying then they will need to spend time looking for the other Lit Totem. As well as obviously looking for the Lit Totem you are going to be alerted when a survivor is nearby. I'm sure you can guess which other Hex perks works really well with this and this is what we will discuss next. In at number 7 is Hex Ruin. Hex Ruin works really well on all killers but in particular used with Hex Undying could be a formidable combination. Hex Rune is a teachable hag perk and can be unlocked from level 35 onwards. Hex perk regresses a generator when a survivor stops repairing it. The regression will be at 100, 150 or 200% of regression speed so can have a very strong effect on protecting gens when you chase survivors off them. What this is going to do is save you time at kicking the gen and helping you focus on continuing the chase, letting the perk take care of the generator for you. Just try not to have your totem cleanse in the first few seconds, like how I usually do, and this would be a very powerful perk for you. At number 6 is a Nurse's Calling. So a Nurse's Calling is a popular perk to see killers run and is a teachable nurse perk that can be unlocked from it from level 40 onwards. This perk allows you to see the auras of survivors who are healing or being healed when they are in range of 20, 25 or 28 metres. This is, can be particularly strong for you to find survivors quickly and for characters such as Pyramid Head who have good range attacks. If you are playing a killer who's got a bit of a hit and run action, so it's sort of like Wraith, Ghostface, killers like that, this is a good perk for that because as soon as they start healing, you'll see where they are. In at number 5 is Discordance. Discordance is a teachable perk for the Legion and is unlocked at level 30 onwards. This Gordance is one of my favourite perks because it helps you locate survivors that are stacking on gens, it'll help you find survivors quickly, especially at the start of the game. 
Anytime two or more survivors are working on the same generator, the generator roar will turn yellow and you will receive an alert for 8, 10 or 12 seconds. Now I mentioned this on my killer guide and I do highly recommend this whilst you learn spawn location, but also to help you apply pressure throughout the game. When you've only got a few gens left, discordance can really help protect the gens that survivors decide to stack on. At number 4 we've got Corrupt Intervention. This is again another perk that really helps you with the start of the trial. Corrupt is a teachable perk for the plague and is unlockable from level 30 onwards. This perk will block the three furthest generators from you for 80, 100 or 120 seconds at the start. This allows you time to avoid the gen rush and pressure the survivors. The survivors cannot repair those gens and you will usually find the survivors wandering around looking for an available gen so it has a great impact on the start of the game. Unfortunately, once the time run this runs out, you are running with one less perk. However, hopefully by then the pressure has been applied by yourself and you are getting some good pressure on those survivors. Now onto the top three and this brings us nicely onto Thrilling Tremors. This is actually probably my favourite perk to have and I actually feel quite naked without it on my killers. Thrilling is a teachable ghost face perk unlocked at level 35. So what does it do? After you pick up a survivor, all generators not being repaired are blocked by the entity and cannot be repaired for 16 seconds. The affected generators will be highlighted by a white aura. This perk has a cooldown of 180 or 60 seconds. Why do I particularly enjoy using this perk? Well for me it does two jobs. As well as slowing down the gens, it also provides me with the information I need to know where to go once I have hooked a player. If the generator is still red, that means someone is working on there. And trying their best to complete it. So that's going to be my next point of call. Information is so vital on Dead by Daylight and this helps in this sense. It's also great for mind games. Using Freddy or the Doctor to shock or beta teleport to get them off and every second helps when you're trying to stop gens being completed. So now we're down to the last two and number two is Pop Goes the Weasel. This is a clown teachable perk which can be unlocked from level 40 onwards. You will find this perk used a lot by killers and for a very good reason. After you hook a survivor, the next generator you break is instantly regressed by 25%. Yes, that's right, 25 freaking percent. After the 25%, the regression continues normally, but for the survivors, the damage is probably already done. Pop has a cooldown of 40, 50 or 60 seconds, depending on what level you have it on. Using pop on killers who have great map pressure such as Freddy can be lethal for survivors chances and another perk that for me is a must have on your killer build. Finally we reach a number one slot in the top 10 perks to have as killer. If you played Dead by Daylight before you won't be surprised to hear that Barbecue and Chili make this list. Barbecue is a cannibal or bubba if you would prefer perk unlockable from level 36 onwards. What does barbecue do that makes it so popular? Well. After you hook a survivor, all of the survivor's auras are revealed to you for 4 seconds when they are more than 40 metres away from the hook. That's amazing you say, well there is more of this too. So each time you hook a survivor for the first time, you gain a 25% stackable bonus to all blood points. Now this applies to all the categories up to a maximum of 50, 75 or 100%. So with this perk and its maximum capabilities, you can double your blood points by 100% just by hooking a survivor for the first time. You get to see what survives up to for 4 seconds, giving you vital information to continue the hunt and apply the pressure, and you're going to get the more blood points. This makes barbecue one of the most popular perks you'll see in the killer's build, and a great way to help you go from location to location, applying pressure and ultimately getting those kills. So that's it for the top 10 killer perks guys. Was there anything I missed out? Do you have a particular favourite that you won't start a trial without? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did don't forget to give it a quick like and if you would like to see more content like this then please press that subscribe button, click the notification bell and you will be updated when I release any new videos. Thanks guys.